a touchstone of remembrance, important for those who lost loved ones during six years of conflict in Iraq. With fitting ceremony and the leaders of all three main political parties, the Basra Memorial Wall, with 179 names, took its place at the National Memorial Arboretum, amongst other tributes to the war dead. But this memorial has a special and emotional story all of its own, involving a journey from Basra to Britain. It began in Iraq, not commissioned, but conceived, built and maintained by colleagues of those who died. After being carefully dismantled, its stonework forms the core of the rebuilt memorial, now clad in marble to withstand the British winters. While memorials are always uh, special, this memorial, of course, was started in theatre by the comrades of those who fell. Uh, and as you heard, it moved from Alamara, it moved down to Basra. It was uh, iconic at Basra, outside the headquarters, where I saw it many times. And now at last, here we brought it home. The campaign to bring it to Britain was led by Brian Tanswell, whose son Tom died in Iraq in 2006. It's magnificent. It's, it's better than I expected. And I want to thank all the people that have done it. Elaine Fairley's brother, Peter McFerrin, was killed in Iraq in 2007. I'm proud of what he achieved and what he did, but I'm also pleased that the wall's come back to the UK. A message of thanks was read out from the people of Iraq. The Iraqi military attaché said those who lost their lives should never be forgotten. This memorial will make sure of that. David Crabtree, Sky News, Staffordshire.